Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Time now to shift our focus onto this. Uh, the 2014 annual report of the Office of the Ombudsman for Long-Term Insurance says the office received 9,246 written requests for assistance during 2014. Well, this is a reduction of 8% over 2013. This included 5,104 chargeable complaints. The Ombuds says it has finalized 3,822 complaints against long-term insurers and recovered more than 147 million rand for consumers while awarding more than 450,000 rand in compensation for poor service. Now, about 74% of the cases were finalized within six months and nearly 30% were resolved wholly or partially in favor of complainants. From our Cape Town studios, we're now joined by the Deputy Ombud, Jennifer Priest. A very good morning and welcome to Morning Live. That's quite a glowing report that you guys have had from the previous year. Good morning. Yes, we're very pleased with the figures. The fact that the numbers went down is pleasing to us because to us that seems as if TCS, TCF, treating customers fairly, has started working. Tell us a little bit about TCF and the regulations uh, and what seems to have brought about this change and the drop in these figures. TCF um, is a program with the Financial Services Board. And I think finally insurers and other financial institutions are taking complaints seriously because that is one of the outcomes of the TCF program. So insurers are paying more attention to the complaints and that means they are resolving them themselves rather than people having to come to our office. Now, half of the complaints were declined on contractual terms or non-disclosure. What exactly does that mean? Well, most of our complaints, almost 50%, are about claims not being paid. And the reason why the claim is not being paid is usually because there's a contractual provision. For instance, um, somebody dies during a waiting period. Um, or alternatively, there might be a pre-existing exclusion clause. So that's on contractual terms. Then uh, claims that are declined on the basis of non-disclosures, where somebody, when they took out a policy, according to the insurer, did not fully disclose their, for instance, medical condition. So those are the other reasons why insurers might decline claims. Many people take out insurance and they are sold the insurance because of what is marketed, what is highlighted about the insurance. And often people are only claiming when comes the fact. I mean, what is the advice from the ombudsman to consumers? Well, I think the first thing is, however boring it might seem, one has to read your policy. And I know many people just put the policy in the drawer which I think is the natural reaction to a very long legal document. But I think one has to read the policy. You've got 30 days after you've purchased the policy to check whether it actually is exactly what you want. And if you're not satisfied with it, you can return the policy and there will be no adverse consequence. So the first thing is read the policy, make sure that you understand what is in there. And if you aren't sure, then ask at that stage. Because the claim is usually, not always, but usually many years after the time that you purchased. So you need to be sure at the time when you buy the policy that it is exactly what you want. Let's go back to the annual reports now. Complicated cases increased from 15.7% in 2013 to 18% of the ombudsman's caseload. Now, what would you consider a complicated case? A complicated case in our parlance is a case that takes a long time and where the subject matter is very complicated. Unfortunately, these days, some of the products themselves are extremely complicated. We get policies that are more than 100 pages long. And um, both for our office and no doubt for the complainant, it is very difficult to understand what is actually being presented in the contract. So that makes the handling of the complaint very difficult. We're also finding, and this is not unique to South Africa, that all over the world, 
Complainants are becoming more persistent. They're more aware of their rights. So even on the first response from our office, they might not accept what we're saying. So that involves the office in more negotiation and um, correspondence with the complainant. And all of those things actually make the complaint last longer and makes the complaint more difficult to handle. And those are the um, complicated complaints in the office. Is a complaint, does a complaint, Plaints have a time frame. So, you know, if somebody is maybe sitting watching this uh, interview and they think, you know what, I, there is something that didn't quite make so much sense to me. Can they then bring it forward to you, you know, quite, quite long after the fact when they would have made a claim? Um, there's a prescription period of three years. So from the time that, um, for instance, a claim was denied, you have three years to come to the office. So <clears throat> it is possible to come to the office even some time after um, something has happened that has made you unhappy with your policy. What we tell complainants to do in the first instance is to complain to the insurer um, and once they've had an opportunity to respond to the complaint, and if the complainant is then not happy with that response, they're more than welcome to come to our office. And we can then look and see whether the complaint has prescribed or not. The Ombudsman also announced the appointment of an external assessor, retired Western Cape High Court Judge Cleaver. He was appointed. What will be his role? Well, um, seeing that we are a complaints forum, if somebody has a complaint about the office, um, not about the merits of the claim, but about the way that we've handled the complaint, we will then send that complaint to Judge Cleaver to see whether we've in fact followed the correct procedures, whether we've handled the complaint properly. All right, lovely. Thank you very much. That's uh, Jennifer Priest chatting to us from our Cape Town studio. She is the Deputy Ombud for the Long-Term Insurance Ombudsman. You can find out more information if you go to the website, www.ombud.co.za. Morning Live takes a break. We're back after this.